Dark Dungeon 3 is in need of a new... Um, for the play system. Yes. Um, Dark Dungeon... 4. 4. Dark Dungeon 4. Uh, we're actually making it in uh, Roman now, so that's something. Um, the new engine, obviously. Dungeon RPG. This is gonna be a great, great new game. For mature people. For mature people. With the new graphics that we have. No red exploding barrel, because it's gonna be looking it's gonna look corny. So here we go. Um we need uh, I think you need um two staff on each little thing. We're doing all of this. Um engine isn't too important, so we're just going with this uh the um, save game. All of this though. And eh, not all of it. Yes, not all of it. I don't think cooperative play will be a good thing for this. No, I guess we can't actually. We have a whole, a whole team to work with though, so we're gonna go ahead and do most of this. Like this, I think. We can still get good management out of this. Um, so research points is gonna... <laughs> drop like crazy, but we're gonna get a lot of research points out of this. Not sure if we're gonna get oh, 100. It would be great if we did though. And it does actually look like we will. Because it is a big game. Dialogue is extremely important. Level design is... Too important too, so AI not too important. We can have some mini games in this, sure. That works. Uh, Kevin has already done a lot of stuff, so we're not gonna do too much with him. Um, him, yes, and Arthur B here we can do the artificial intelligence. So here we go. We'll easily get uh, 100, I think. In two months of play system 3 will be taken off the market, so we will actually see how much we made on this console, because we've made a lot of money on the play system 3. We made a shit ton of money out of it. And we're already at 100. But here we go. World design, you will do... Yeah, you will do world design. You will do the graphics. And you will do this. Perfect. Sound isn't too important, so we'll go with uh, basic sound for what it is. World design is important, and everything else. There we go. Go for it! So here we go! We're making uh, our first launch game, which is Dark Dungeon 4. Um, so yeah, there's that, and I'm actually making a lo longer video this uh, time around too. Great! <laughs> I guess it's fine. Not a lot of hype, but we don't need it. We like six games and earn a lot of money. 77.8 million off the play system 3. So that's a pretty uh, profitable uh, console on, for us. Regardless, big things are happening. Not a lot of hype. Doesn't matter. We just want to iron out the game anyway. There we go! Let's go with that! New record in everything, as you would imagine. Dark Gen Dungeon has been a really good series for us. Will this be the bust, or will we continue to have extremely good Dark Dungeon games? Will this... Will this engine... Not engine... Will this game series, this franchise, go on? as one of our best find out next time no we're fine now okay well um well well please please no all games what are you doing 
Well, at least Dog Dungeon is a huge success again, but what are you doing, old games? You could have given me a freaking 10, and I would have had the perfect score! Oh, god damn it! God damn it, old games! God damn it, old games! God damn it! Oh, well. Still got us a 9, so... This is <laughs> gonna be a huge hit! We already sold over 1 million in sales in that one week! Holy f crap! A new fantastic uh, installment in the franchise of Dark Dungeon. Yes! I like it a lot. I, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. So here we go. We're going for it. We're going for uh, for uh, the sign here. As we s look at Dark Dungeon 4 and just everything is going up in storm. Holy crap. We're gonna make- we're gonna have over 100 million. Over 100 million money. That's extremely, extremely well-earned money. Because we started out small and now we're a big, huge company. Just fantastic, fantastical, amazing stuff. Oh, hype, hype! Yes! Let's do it! We are opening our research uh, lab. R&D lab is ready. To visit the lab, simply click the screen and drag it to the left, or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Alternatively, you can also click on the little R&D lab information card at the bottom right of the screen. New research available for the R&D lab. R&D. Own convention. Internet opportunities. 3D graphics version 6. License games and licensed game engines, hardware, triple A games. That is right. Here is our lab! Welcome to your our very own research and development lab. At the moment it is empty, but we have a number of skilled people eager to start working. But you don't have to hire them individually. Instead you can simply decide on a budget for the R and D lab. The higher the budget, the more researchers will work and the higher the research progress will be. Running your own R&D lab can be very expensive, so be careful so we don't overspend. I suggest you start with small projects and don't be afraid to cut down the budget if necessary. If there's no activity, active projects, researchers will generate research points slowly, which you can use to train your main staff and unlock more game options. To start a project, simply click the screen to bring up the research menu. Once you start a project, you can also cancel it using the same menu. So there we go, um, we're gonna start a project, are we? Um, sure we are, um, okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, it's gonna be a long episode, but it's cool, it's cool. It's all well and good to have a booth at the yearly game convention and show off our products, but with our large fan base, we should consider staging our very own convention instead. Sure, but not yet. Um, the internet will change our lives forever. This project will investigate how we can use the internet to make better games and deliver better experiences. Completing this project should unlock new options for research. Pushing the boundaries of photorealism, this revolutionary graphics engine will blow away everything that has come before us. Or something. Uh, near infinite, infinite draw distance, ultra high polygon counts, and realistic particle and volumetric this effects. Pretty cool. Then we have this. We have a lot of experience in creating custom engine uh, game engines. Why not sub-license our engines to other developers? Not only will this cement our market uh, position as a technology leader, but it will also help offset the growing costs of developing engines. Software doesn't run without hardware. We are experts in creating software. Why not also investigate whether we can create our own hardware? We're actually going to do that. Um, we have proven that we can make large games at w uh, work. That was the one game we did. How about we see uh, we uh, see how we can make games that are so massive in scope and of such high quality that they will create an entire new label. To borrow a term from the finance sector, they will be triple A rated games. Or to borrow from the movie industry, true blockbusters. We're gonna start the research of this though, the hardware. This project is now started and as your researchers work on it you will see the progress in the status card. Don't forget to adjust the budget. If the budget is zero, the project will never progress. Okay. We're going to... We're gonna put a Ford um, 
a lot of this because we want people to work on this. Anyway, uh, we're going to move back here and we're going to end off the episode. We've done a lot in this episode. I hope you enjoy this episode, this episode and this episode because episodes are episodes and Matt the Bl LeBlanc is in a show called Episodes. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Game Dave Tycoon. Push that like button if you enjoy this episode and this video. And if you loved it, I'm just trying out new things here. If you loved it, subscribe. And see you all next time for more Game Dev Tycoon. Later. Peace out.